It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Stockholm Brewing Company in Sweden and it's a can of their G&T Sour coming in at 4.4% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. Looks fantastic. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Beer in the glass then. Got a light looking beer. Head's going to dissipate very quickly. Have a listen. Hear it, see it dissipating. Very characteristic for a for the sour beer for the head to dissipate very quickly. It's the way the beer's been brewed. Thank you very much to Hakan in Sweden for sending me the beer. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, so we got nice carbonation rolling up the glass. Clarity. It is. I would say micro filtered. It's kind of mi micro particles in the beer here. And it kind of looks like a lager if, if I'm honest. A headless lager, light straw colored beer. Let's get the aroma. So gin and tonic, you get the botanicals. Really kind of spicy and peppery. Juniper berries. Loads of juniper in here. Or juniper. Smells fantastic, it really does. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer. Yeah, the sourness, the juniper comes through really well, but mixed with that sourness, it almost kind of cleans your teeth for, me, for you. You can feel your, your teeth being stripped of any, anything that's, that's left from your tea or, or the food you've just eaten. A real kind of acidic, drinkable lovely oh yeah wow sour fantastic but that juniper berry really gives it the botanicals the the spices the pepperiness with that with that real big sour flavor really works it really works g and t sour I've had I've had beer with juniper berries in before. Um, I've had a beer called Gin Lane, which springs to mind. That being an ale brewed with gin and and tonic, and it's very similar. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Yeah, it's really good, really good beer, really. Uh, one of those kind of classic styles, I mean, sour beer really comes from um, a few countries really. Uh, Germany has its own take on sour called a Goza. Uh, this is, is this a Goza or is this a, this is just a sour. So this would be kind of Belgian-esque style of, of, of beer. A lot of the sour beers originally come from, from Belgium. Let's read it, it's in English, so I'm quite happy to read this. Oh, I'm able to read this. Uh, a beer inspired by the classic combination gin and tonic. This sour ale is spiced with citrus zest, juniper berries, gin gonna back, and all of the other flavorings that go into a good g and t. They talk about the zestiness. I don't read labels before I review the beer. I just go straight into it. So they talk about a zestiness. A, Lemon, a lemon kind of, yeah, I'm going to say lemon because the juniper for me was the big thing that jumped out at me. The juniper berries, the that, that kind of flavour was like, Psh, yeah, it works. I love it. Really good. Um, 
Thank you very much, Hakan. So I'm going to show you, well, you probably know where Stockholm is in Sweden, but Hakan was very kind enough to make a map for me. So here's the, here's the area of Sweden where Stockholm lies. I've not been to Stockholm. I've been down, I've been there. I was there in August. That was a, that is a fantastic place. Helsingborg in Sweden, wonderful place that. But I've not, to, I've not been up to Stockholm. Um, I'd love to one day, I suppose. Oh, I've been to Gothenburg as well. Gothenburg's on there. Doug's been there as well. Right, rating for Stockholm Brewing Company's G and T Sour. Looks good, smells good. Does exactly this, what I'm expecting this beer to do. To taste. I like it enough to give it, yeah, it's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.